Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome guys um, i appreciate you all for dropping by this channel so anyways um i'm alex i am a pharmacy assistant in the philippines and working as a pharmacy assistant here in canada so for today's video um i'm going to share with you some of the struggles i have experienced working as a pharmacy assistant so the first one and i feel like the major struggle that i have experienced is learning the system so coming to canada two years ago um, without any knowledge or experience here so um i had to learn the system so every pharmacy here in canada has their own system the most common is crawl. I have worked at two different pharmacies um, now. So a um, few years ago, I was at Shoppers, and they use as Health Watch. Um, health Watch for me was really tough. So um, it's the first um, pharmacy system that I had to learn. So I feel like it took me forever to learn this system. Um, then uh, I was struggling for the first few weeks or months. But that didn't stop me from actually learning it. So with the help of my seniors, with the proper guidance and the right motivation, um, I eventually learned the system and became very good at it. But then I moved to a different pharmacy. Now I've worked at Costco and we use a scroll, like I said earlier. And for me, this pharmacy system is very easy to learn compared to health watch but then i had to adjust and learn how things work with crawl but yeah for me based from my experience crawl is way easier to learn than health watch then the next problem that i experienced would be the language barrier so since i was new to canada canada two years ago um, i didn't have the confidence to speak in english i was always too shy um, I was I was always conscious with my grammar, um, but then once you're here, you will realize that people here um, doesn't really care how you speak. If you're saying the right words, there are no judgments with your English. Sometimes you will have a hard time understanding your patients because sometimes they speak fast and they have that accent, but you'll get used to it over time. So what's important is you're able to express your thoughts and then you'll be fine. And the next, the third one is answering phone calls. So this is one of the struggles of working in the pharmacy because you won't know how to answer questions without knowing the system. So once you're familiar with the system, you have more than enough experience of the system, then you'll know how to respond to patients' questions. And the next one would be handling patients' complaints. Complaints, um, this will be a major problem if not addressed um, properly. So some of the complaints that I have experienced are the following. First one would be too long wait time. So sometimes we promise, if, depending on how busy the pharmacy is, sometimes we promise them 20 minutes wait time. And the longest one would be up to half an hour. And then the next one, if the medication is not available. So third one would be uh, in line with the second one is if the medication is not ready for pickup. And then the next one, if no one answers or pick up the phone. And last one would be if a medication doesn't have any refills left. So 
yeah sometimes the patient gets mad because they don't have any medications left so you still have to fax the doctor and ask for a renewal so if a patient comes to you they're being difficult or they're very hard to deal with so the best way is to let them speak first let them address their concerns and then deal with them the best that you can and as professional as you can be but if they're still not happy with how you help them um, they're still being difficult then you can forward them to your manager or your pharmacist and they can handle those complaints well the next one would be salary so if you were like me two years ago no pharmacy experience no canadian experience then you probably might get minimum salary so i think in um, ontario the minimum right now is around 15 dollars or 15.50 um but yeah that might be your starting salary as well so it's gonna be hard because you have bills to pay and if you're a student you have to pay for your tuition and you're supporting your family as well so yeah you have to work hard and get that salary in peace the good thing about it though is it doesn't stop there so some companies are offering annual salary increase and other companies are doing their increase um, once you have reached the certain number of hours so next one will be um, your working hours so um, there comes a time I think start of spring or summer where we get lesser hours because students are allowed to volunteer or to work so it's also not as busy during this time so meaning less hours we get less money as well so sad the next one would be schedule so we have shifting schedules so opening mid or closing shifts so sometimes you don't get to choose your schedule but then you can always request for it if you have an important event to attend to and then if you have any planned vacations if, if, if you've already booked a flight back home if you have any planned events you can always let your manager know so they can work on the schedule and last one will be the location of the pharmacy and the weather here in canada so it will be a struggle um especially when the pharmacy is too far from your home and um sometimes um you, you have to ride the bus because you don't have any car yet you have to adjust the time that you leave your house um, depending on the bus schedule and oftentimes it's not just a one bus ride sometimes it will take you up to three uh, bus rides for you to get to work so i experienced this before while i was working at shoppers um, i had to do a three bus rides for me to get to work um, so yeah it, it also takes up to an hour and 30 minutes for me to get to work and then the weather here is very unpredictable so especially during winter so yeah you'll have to prepare yourself for the um, weather here in Canada and then tips for those who want to work here in Canada as a pharmacy assistant or those who are struggling right now as a pharmacy assistant um, first one would be is you have to be teachable and you also have to be an observer and then if you made a mistake you have to learn from it and don't do the same mistake twice and then next one would be you have to be responsible and then you also have to be respectful of others um, opinions religions and beliefs and then you have to keep going um, don't ever quit no matter how hard it is and then lastly would be to trust the process and trust god so there you have it guys so those are some of my experiences working here as a pharmacy assistant i hope this video helps and yeah i'll see you next time bye